live from Chicago. Say what up, baby. What up? Say hi, mama. <laughs> Is that your way of saying hi? Bring us back there. We are in Chicago for the next few days. We're having a little mini family vacation slash getaway with the whole squad. Me, Dion, Breland, and Olivia. And we are excited. We actually just got to our hotel. Girl, bye. <laughs> oh my gosh. Not this glass. We're gonna cut, cut it out. Anyway, so we just got to our hotel. And let me just say, babe, hasn't our morning been super smooth? Yeah. It has been extremely smooth. So today was actually Olivia's first flight ever. And so let me just say, I got two mom the horn, toot toot. I feel like I planned really well in hopes that things would go very smooth, just in terms of like timing, you know, when to get her up, timing like when to get to the airport, when to get on the plane, when to feed her and all of that. And it is, everything went so smooth. I fed her, she literally went right to sleep, which is what I was hoping for because we had kept her up for three hours prior to takeoff. So, it was perfect and then she slept the entire flight which was so good she literally got up right after we land landed so it was just such a smooth flight she just she slept in in my arms the whole time like both her and i were knocked out and it was just a really smooth flight i feel like overall logistically everything was smooth and then caught an uber to our hotel which i'm going to show you guys a quick little room tour right now because we love our hotel especially for our crew the main thing that was important for me when i was booking the uh, or important to us when i was booking the hotel room was to make sure that we had a enough space for all four of us because we'll be here for three days so i want to make sure that breland had her own little space um just y'all know she's older so um and then also because olivia's gonna be sleeping in the room with us which is important just to make sure that we basically had enough more than enough space for everybody so it was also important for us to be in the location that we wanted to be in whenever me and Dion came last time we stayed on michigan avenue or magnificent mile we loved it loved the location and so we wanted to stay in the same area again so between space and location those are the main two criteria and so i found this hotel it's called the pendry i think it's like i don't know how new it is but you can tell it's fairly new and they had a one bedroom suite but i love it because it's not like a typical one bedroom suite this one bedroom suite is very unique because it's it's really almost like two bedrooms really and it has two bathrooms which is perfect so whenever you come in you're at the front door and then you walk right in and you pretty much see this right so you can go to your left or to your right so whenever you go to the right okay it takes you to this whole like little wing here you have a bathroom love i just love all the finishes like it's very nice and modern and clean and perfect nice size vanity got a mirror in here toilet tub super cute and then you come back out and keep going to your right and this is like the living room space but really it's like its own little room so it has a couch which also you know is converts into a pull out bed so she'll sleep there has like a little dining situation tv oh and also has a little mini bar which is perfect because i didn't know it when i booked the room but fortunately this room has a mini fridge which is perfect for olivia's bottles then you keep walking this way oh here's like a little closet situation okay you walk to our room so here's the front door and then you walk to our room and here is like our little bathroom okay again that usual mirror toilet and shower this is our actual room so king size bed we're gonna be using the hotels they provide um cribs so they're gonna put the crib in here for her and then you know the usual there goes the girl tv all that and then it also has a lot of windows and stuff as well what do you think you did so good <laughs> No, but Breland always be trying to take a daddy side, y'all. I'm telling y'all. She always and what? then it listen. Funny. It was that wasn't even funny. You did good, that was not even funny. She I thinks her little daddy is so hilarious and he is not. And neither is she. <laughs> Breland, how'd I do? You did good. Yeah, I really like the room. Our last room, whenever we say last time, the room was a really good size. You know, like if you ever travel to like New York, you know how New York hotel rooms are tiny. Well, this is very different. Say hey, Munchy Munchy. Say hey, girl. Do you want to show them my hot? You want? Okay, not my hair. <laughs> You're still holding on to. Girl, Olivia. Oh my gosh. Thanks, Rila. Thank you. Do you want to tell them about how you did such a good job on the plane? Breland, how's it flying with a baby? It's cool. It's overrated. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got we, we we got on the we like literally got on the plane this morning and I was in the space and I was like, You're over flying with a baby already, huh? She was like, Yeah. Anyways, y'all, that's pretty much how our morning is going. Um it's like twelve twenty four now. Um it's Thursday, so it's still a weekday. I think we are about to go get food. I'm sorry, mama. We're about to go get some food. What are you feeling? Anything that's good. Any, okay. Anything that's good. I'll update you guys kind of throughout the trip. To be honest, I probably won't be vlogging a whole, whole lot on this trip because it is a family trip and I definitely want to be present and enjoy it and all of that. So I'll try to get some clips and stuff like that on my phone while we're out and kind of just give you guys an idea of like what our little family trip is looking like, but I won't give like, y'all won't see like all the little nitty gritty details because I still want to definitely enjoy the time with La Familia. So real quick before we head out, cause I did, I have make a ton of questions regarding how we prepped for Olivia's first trip. And so one of the things I did want to share that I think will be helpful to some parents out there is kind of how I packed her suitcase. Hey, so hey. basically we, um, put all her stuff hey, hey. in a carry-on normally me and Dion bring carry-ons and we don't really like checking luggage but him and I just shared one checked luggage and then we put all of Olivia's stuff in a carry-on just in case for if you know in the instance that you know our stuff got lost all that we knew that we would uh, him and I be okay it's her that we wanted to make sure we had everything that she needed so I want to quickly share kind of like how I packed her suitcase and kind of what I bought just to make things easier in case you're prepping for your baby's first trip here's Olivia's little carry-on so on this side Side. Um, I have her blanket. This is for um, she sleeps with it at nighttime. We pack diapers, so we have a set number of diapers per day. I have a little toiletry bag, and here I just have her body cream, her little comb and brush set, her little toothpaste, a little toothbrush, q tips, and also her body wash. Oh, and then her little hair spray. I um, put it in like a spray bottle. So that is in here as well. A little jacket. I don't think it'll be too cool, but just in case. I put all of Olivia's outfits, her burp cloths, and her shoes in this one little packing cube. And this is like, I feel like made the most difference. Packing cubes are so clutch because you can really pack everything in there and then just like stuff it and close it and like really have it nice and compact. So we have an outfit for each. I will be here for three days. So I packed four outfits, a backup outfit just in case. And then I packed two outfits to put in her diaper bag just in case for any reason she has a blowout. I always just like to have, you know, one or two extra outfits just in case for her because you never know what can happen. So it just has outfits, burp cloths, her shoes, oh, and socks. Because we're using the hotel's crib, which I'm assuming is probably more of a pack and play, I bought my own pad cover for the pack and play for her to sleep on, wipes, obviously to wipe her down or to wipe her whenever you change her diaper. And then it's a couple onesies. Olivia sleeps in just plain old white onesies. So we just have one, um, one for each night that we're here. And that is everything that I put on this side. Here I have Olivia's backup bibs. Olivia drools a lot. So we have to, we go through at least two. Oh no, you're right, you're right. Okay, Olivia doesn't drool as much anymore now, but we still go through like two bibs a day. That's right, yeah. We still go through like two bibs a day, so we um, I always have a backup bib. Oh, with her outfits, I didn't mention this. So with her outfits, I pack like her outfits and then like the bib that goes with it because we always have to coordinate her bibs. Like I roll together her outfit, the bib that goes with it, and then her little headband that goes with it, and that's like that for every outfit. So same thing here, y'all see, and all of that. But I always pack an extra bib just in case we need to swap it while we're out and then i also have her little crackers olivia loves these little um teething waivers and then this is more like her food side which went through tsa with no problem i just packed a new box granted i probably could have packed this in a better way but this is a new box and i like taking it all out so box of olivia's favorite um or one of olivia's favorite pouches i have a little container of cereal this is more so for olivia's night bottles we always put a little bit of cereal in her night bottle then we have one four ounce bottle so we only bought two bottles on this trip we have a small one a four ounce one and a an eight ounce one the eight ounce one is in her diaper bag. I also bought a couple jars. I think I have three or four jars of baby food. Again, this is more so just in case. I have her bottle warmer, her sound machine, which is a must for her, especially since she'll be in the room with us. A water bottle for whenever we're out. And then her last little baggie is full of, so Olivia takes probiotic drops and allergy medicine every day. So that's in here as well as like a little spoon for you know her food if we need to feed her. I also have some cold tablets just in case you know if she happens to get sick while out you know just more it's like just in case type stuff and it all fit in there perfectly and i forgot to mention that i also bought her bottle brushes to clean her bottles obviously while we're here so yeah that is it you guys it's very efficient and effective um and everything fit and went through 
TSA perfectly. Oh, and then one more thing, you guys. So for her diaper bag, it has all the normal stuff. I won't go through it. Basically all the normal things that you would keep in a regular diaper bag. I also included um, or packed Olivia's favorite snacks. Aside from the little wafers that I showed you guys in her carry-on, I have other things that she loves, like her little puffs, her little yogurt melts, things like that are in here. And it is next to the diaper bag. And then I also packed a pouch. Or, I packed two pouches in here actually. She already ate one, but I also packed two two pouches in here as well, just for, you know, to quickly access. And then also pack a little container of formula. All right, y'all, so we ended up at Yoke for brunch. Me and Deanna have a keep in here. We've been, we came here last time we were in Chicago and then there's like one in Dallas we've been to twice. Food was pretty good. Dion was craving brunch food. Me and Breland were craving. Okay, he said that he was wanting to get something that he knew was good. Thank you for the correction. <laughs> so he just got pancakes. What are those? Like a chocolate cone? Pancake. How does that? Monkey. Monkey something pancakes. And he got an omelet potatoes. Monkey nut. Monkey nut pancakes. And then I just did the buffalo chicken wrap fries and then I have a side or like a single um, French toast coming and then what would you get and Olivia is over there being Olivia say hi mama Dion has his phone set up to play Grace's Corner over there her dad to fund a summer in um, in Chicago like she's literally trying to convince him to pay for her sorry I was really loud is trying to convince her dad to fund her to stay in Chicago for a summer <laughs> and she's like maybe I can intern here <laughs> and maybe go to college here and all that she she's really loving it okay so kind of just opening you guys real quick while we're walking. Um, first of all, it's like 8.30, I think. Olivia is doing so good. She's just such a really good, flexible baby, which I love. We just stopped and fed her, and Dion got some Chipotle. So, me and Breland are actually about to go get some pizza from Giordano's. He had it last time that we were, or I had it last time that we were in Chicago. Breland, obviously, hasn't had it before, and so wanted to take her, since it's definitely, you know, like it's more of a traditional Chicago deep dish eat spot. So we're going there. We had brunch at Yoke and then finished up brunch, came back to the room. We all took a nap because we were all exhausted. Like I got three hours of sleep last night, so we were all exhausted. Got back up, came back out, and just did some shopping. This is like more of a chill, low key day, so we're really just kind of winging it. And it kind of got a late start, anyways, because of like traveling and Olivia had to take a nap and us all being exhausted and all that. So we like went and did some shopping, made a couple stops, and like I said, then we just Dion just had some Chipotle. Did do a we did well he's eat, he's eat pizza, that's why. So we had to stop and get him some food before well, me and Rila stop and get some food. <laughs> True. But he always cheating on his diets, y'all. He always cheating on his diets. <laughs> so <laughs> he is he's always cheating on his diet. He always on some type of diet and he always cheat. Yeah, I got the pizza. Freeland, how is it? What you think? Yeah. It's different, it's good, but it's different. Mama! See, I'm hanging in there. See, I'm hanging in there. Olivia, that is so gross. That's so nasty. 
I'm smiling. <laughs> we are currently in the Nike store. We're going to take her place. That's pretty much why we stopped here. It's really for her because she's doing some back to school shopping. And we also make sure that she's doing some stuff that she wants to do too. So she wants to stop in here. So me and the, me and the only lawyer are just sitting here. Fortunately, we're, we're, we're at the phase where we really can like go find stuff she likes, bring it to us, and then, you know, kind of show us that she picked up and give the yay or nay. So she's like over there trying to find some shoes and some clothes like that that she could find or wear to school. This one is like, she's she's doing so so well. She, um, we, this whole first up, this morning we woke up, got ready. We went to the Riverwalk to have some lunch. Um, the place we ate was not good. Like, we were, me and Deanna and I, Breland said that her food was okay, but Breland pretty much eats anything. <laughs> Me and Dion's food, baby, how you caught your food? Yeah, and we were not pleased that if I, at all. So, anyways, that was a waste of money. But we stopped and ate, and then we walked from the Riverwalk down Michigan Ave, and now we're at the Nike store. There she goes, with her, her goodies. And then from here, we need to go back to Starbucks to get some hot water for Olivia's bottle because she, you can tell she is hungry. She's been really good. Like on our from our walk from um, where we ate from the river walk over here, she took a nap, so she did really good. But now you can tell she's kind of cranky because she's hungry, so we need to get make her a bottle. Honestly, I believe this winging this trip. Honestly, like we didn't really have any like set itinerary. Only thing that I do know is that we're going to dinner tonight with someone special who like her and I have like talked online for a while and so like meeting her in person but I feel like it would be like I'm not worried at all like I think it'll be a good situation we're meeting her and her husband for a little dinner and that's really the only thing we had really planned out prior to coming here everything else is kind of just winging it and kind of just going with the flow especially because we have this little one so okay. yeah we're about to feed you Okay, yeah, we gotta go. We'll pause and we'll reconvene whenever we get her some food. back to the room i walk around 4 45 ish to take a little pit stop a little break um olivia needed a good nap especially because we're going out to dinner a little bit later than normal today so i want to make sure that she got a good nap in to spare us all we went to carrots got some popcorn went to starbucks reserve got that we had to stop to get me some coffee and then to feed olivia did some back to school shopping for breland which was also one of the things we need to do on this trip walked back here she should be good and well rested at least until later tonight she's pooped Y'all, Olivia has a case of diet. It is the most random thing because Olivia has never had, in Olivia's nine and a half months of life, Olivia has never had um, constant diarrhea, constant diarrhea, ever. And she lit it literally started yesterday morning on our flight here. So to our surprise, literally during our little, our little trip, our baby ended up with diarrhea so like yesterday for example we were out olivia went through all of her backup diapers which i keep like four diapers i think, so. I think she maybe went through like four or five diapers um while we were out which never happened she went through she had an outfit change because she had had a blowout so it has been very interesting navigating her diary a few weeks ago we went to her um we had it was her nine month doctor's appointment and found out that Olivia had an ear infection so we had to give her um, what's it called amoxicillin amoxicillin for like 10 days straight antibiotics which our doctor told us that there was a chance that she would um, get diarrhea from it but I didn't I thought that it'd be more of an immediate side effect I didn't think that it would be something that like we would give her and then because her last dose of the the medicine was like a week ago so I didn't think that it would be like that delayed um, but it very well could be, and so we think that that's what's contributing to it. So just our luck that our baby is pooping literally nonstop. But anyways, here's Breland. Yellow. She looks very cute today. I told her I love this color on her. Thank you. <laughs> Here's her outfit change. 
because she, again, had an accident. <laughs> but she's on outfit number two today. Say hi, mama. Say hey, girl. Hi. Say hey. <laughs> say hey, CB. Yeah, say gag. pretending like he's drinking because you got you got some drink anyways we're out I feel like i have done the worst job of vlogging today y'all really haven't seen much of anything that's because it was a pretty chill low-key day long story short we woke up got ready went to breakfast at wildberry what's it called wildberry cafe wildberry pancake and cafe and then we had to make a return for breland and then we walked down to the navy um, pier that is the longest walk of my life. It was, it was, I think what it was was that today it was so hot. Like the past, it wasn't really hot, it was just so muggy. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Like the past two days, the weather was been, weather has been amazing, fantastic. Like we have enjoyed being outside. Today, it was miserable. It was, it was like, it was hot and then it was like muggy and humid, and anyways. So we walked all the way to Navy Pier. I actually walking in the 30 pound yeah. It was a lot. It was a lot. Um, we actually went to Navy Pier last time that we were here. Granted, that was in, in December of 2016. So it was cold, obviously. Um, but I want to make sure that Breland got a chance to see it. So we walked down there, hung out there for a little bit, and then we just kind of Ubered back to our hotel. He wanted to try to walk back at first, and I was like, no, absolutely not. So we Ubered back. Came back to the room, took a nap. We also we also had a good nap. Woke up, got back dressed, went out. We grabbed dinner at the spot called Sweetwater something. Sweetwater ta Tavern and Grill, and then walked back to the hotel. Put Olivia put into got her ready, bought her or put her down, and now me and my honey are having a little bit of alone time this is our only alone time we have had in the past three days so we're like trying to soak it all in i have my glass of wine he's just here <laughs> enjoying the ambiance so our hotel has a, a rooftop bar it's like a small rooftop bar but it's still a rooftop bar nonetheless so we're just sitting outside enjoying the views out here just really enjoying the views kind of catching up talking hanging out we're reflecting on Oh, it feels so good out here. Like now, it feels amazing. Earlier was terrible, but anyways, how do you feel this trip went? I think it went really well. It's obviously our first trip as a family four. I was telling Dion that I was a little bit worried going into it about kind of like balancing like Olivia and Breland in the sense that I told Dion I was like. Obviously, Libby has extra needs because we have to like feed her regularly, make sure she gets her naps and all of that. But I want to make sure that Breland didn't feel like the trip was all about her. You know, like the trip was all about Olivia. But I feel like it went really well in the sense that like Breland got to do what she wanted to do. She got to do her own, you know, her, her thing. Um, but then, exactly, spend other people's money, you know. But then also, I feel like Olivia has done so well on the trip. She's, my baby is just such a flexible, go with the flow kid so it i just like it overall I feel like the trip has gone really really well which is good because we have a trip planned in a couple months that this is kind of like a a test run i thought overall went good yeah i think overall went really well we're looking forward to getting back we'll just 
the good thing is I will get back home early. So that's what I'm thinking. Like my the plan is is what I'm thinking is that hope hopefully I'll be able to sleep the whole flight like you did last time. And then by the time we get our baggage, get in the car, drive home, we have to make a stop on the way to the house. So hopefully by the time that we get home, get settled in and all that. It'll be Olivia's nap time, and then we can all take one good nap. Like, that's the goal. But, anyways, any last words, Papa? You're such an old man. He's such an old man.